Supreme Court rules black people are not citizens. On March 6, 1857, in Dred Scott v. Sanford, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that black people were not American citizens and could not sue in courts of law. The court ruled against Dred Scott, an enslaved black man who tried to sue for his freedom. For years before this case began, Dred Scott was enslaved by Dr. John Emerson, a military physician who traveled and resided in several states and territories where slavery was illegal, always accompanied by Dred Scott. Dr. Emerson eventually took Mr. Scott back to Missouri, where slavery was legal. When Dr. Emerson died there in 1843, Mr. Scott was still enslaved. After Dr. Emerson's death, Dred Scott and his wife, Harriet, sought freedom in the Missouri State Courts. The Scots argued that their prior residence in free territories had voided their enslavement. The Missouri Supreme Court ruled against the Scots and authorized Dr. Emerson's widow, Irene, to continue to enslave them. When Irene Emerson later gave her estate, including Dred and Harriet Scott, to her brother, John Sanford, Dred Scott brought suit in federal court. Written by Chief Justice Roger B. Taney, the U.S. Supreme Court's Dred Scott decision held that the Fifth Amendment did not allow the federal government to deprive a citizen of property, including enslaved people, without due process of law. This ruling kept the Scots legally enslaved, invalidated the Missouri Compromise, and reopened the question of slavery's expansion into the territories. The resulting legal uncertainty greatly increased sectional tensions between northern and southern states and pushed the nation forward on the path towards civil war. Unable to win liberty in the courts, Dredd and Harriet Scott were freed by a subsequent enslaver a few months after the decision. Dredd Scott did not live to enjoy his free status very long. On September 17, 1858, he died of tuberculosis. While Harriet Scott lived until 1876, 